Welcome to the North of England, guys. Rotherham, first season in charge after getting sacked from Offenheim. Bit, I'm still happy about that. I think it was a ridiculous, ridiculous decision on considering. I probably would have went out on the ring in the Europa League. So, you know. But, oh well, who cares? As you can see, I have brought in the tactics I was using from the last, from the Hoffenheim bit. The limited defenders. Why is he there? That one's wrong, I'll show you that one. But yeah guys, I'm feeling very, very, very um kind of positive. Considering considering this is like below par what I thought I'd be at this point in this in the game. But yeah, David Noble went out, thirty two years old, I thought, you know, cut 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 the weight. Bring in another oldie, sure Rami will be a bit of experience, you know, can't complain. The risk is Bruno Mera. Uh you can see he hasn't got the best stats. High aggression, high pace, took a risk. You need to do this once in a while, hopefully it'll pay off. So I'm Sammy Sanmi Odalusi, who's English, um only about the eight K. Maybe be a good prospect, so I thought, you know what I mean, worth a punt, I'll have to play him. I won't blame him for the first few seasons. Big, big sign, Jean Marc Clement, very, very good stats. Ridiculous for this level in my opinion. As you can see, form ten five, ten seven, eight. Six five, ten seven, eight, sorry. And then Got him from Marseille, where he made seven appearances last season, so big, big player. And the last signing is Daniel Rigg from Rov from Rotherham. He's my senior, yeah, he's at Rotherham now, sorry. From Trinidad and Tobago. Um a ridiculous player. From eight eight ten ten eight. He's just, he's a silly city player. Obviously he's from Chivas, so I'm shocked that he's actually um Trinidad and Tobago from Trinidad and Tobago and played for Chivas. I mean it's a very, very long way to go. Especially as your first club. But you know. Football logic. Who gives a fuck. Let's go on to. The fixtures. I like to say. Some nice wins. Luton. Who are in. Empower League 2. So they're only a, a league below us. So for this win. I think it's a very ridiculous win. Obviously. John Mark Clement. Hattrick. Daniel Reed got 2. Ben Pringle got 1. They went at Wimbledon. Daniel Reed got two, Michael O'Connor got one, and then at Mansfield, Morgan and Clement got them. So, you know, consistent. Um, as you can see, Sunderland in the Capital One, Capital One Cup League, for the first round, sorry. <laughs> I can't get words out today, guys. I can't get words out today. But this is very, very... I want to show you this. I just like, looked like, whoa, why are we playing them? It's a bit weird. But look at this league. Wigan, Blackpool, Charlton, Coventry, Crystal Palace... Leeds are there still, Leicester, Borough, Norwich are back down there, Redden down there, Sunderland down there, Swansea down there, Watford. That's the county there, which I think is very, very shocking. Um, but yeah, guys, well, you don't want to see this all day, so let's just go into the match, man. So they're setting out so you can see a bit of action. Let's get started, first game of the season. I'm hoping for a win today. I mean, this is obviously the Oxford Derby. I'm hoping for a big, big win. Hopefully we can get... Three points, top of the league, we get a big enough scoreline. But we go use this. Perez, this is my um Perez is my Colombian international World Cup player. It's uh, very successful for League One, I mean. I mean it is going in Colombia, but still to be in League One and it's a big, big fat big big thing to succeed in. They're not that was a good one. Here you go. Oh O'Connor's there, come on, O'Connor can take this, come on. Yes, Morgan. Oh. oh, I had no idea what was happening then, man. <laughs> Everything stopped, and I was like, is it a goal? Is, it, is that it? Is that, is that the finish? But no, it was not the finish, guys. Here we go, 50 minutes. Something needs to happen soon. Might have to make some changes. 70, something like that. Oh, oh, it's still attacking Doyle. Ball in, it's a goal. Oh, Shearer. Before this, Scott Shearer had actually been in terrible form, so I was like, I'll just criticise him. <laughs> Alright, and it paid off. Oh, Rig! Daniel Rigg there, number nine. That is why I signed him. See how it, that came out of nothing at all. That was, was so well, so, so well done. I mean, I didn't see a scoring. I thought we were going to have to change him around. But, you know, he came out of nowhere and got that. And Scott Shearer's having quite a good game as well. I mean, he's picking up a lot, a lot of things. You know, Connor with the ball in. Someone get rid on this. Someone get rid on this. Oh, Daniel Rigg. He has got 20 head in. He's a ridiculous, ridiculous player. Wilson with the ball in again. Oh, there we go, Sharps, Ian Sharps, 
and that was um, really, really nice. Um, you know, there's two. I think I'm still going to make some changes just because, you know, I'm always up front and I don't really want to have him up front for too long. I mean, I want to give the youngsters a chance. So I'm going to have to put him in as well. Put Bruno Mayer in, see how, see how he can do. I mean, 20 minutes. With with, the two, with with these two goal advantage, I think it's very, very nice because I can maybe put the risky plays in once in a while and see how it goes. And Daniel Rigg again. This lad is an absolute demon with his head. It's ridiculous just how good he is. I think this is going to be a player who I'm going to struggle to keep all of, you know. And there's a Doyle. Is it Doyle? Yeah, Michael Doyle with a, with a goal back. 3 1, but you know. I think it's Daniel Riggs going to be a player I'm going to struggle to keep hold of. I mean, I'm going to have to look for another star player next season. You have to remember, I didn't pay any money for these ones, so I'm trying to make a lot of money. And, oh my god, Kitson. Oh, it was ton. It was ton. Wow. But you know, 3 2, we need to. Well, we got to win, guys. I was hot. I thought the decision of bringing on Bruno Mera was a, was a bad decision at the time, but you know, it's okay. Still got the win, we're ninth, it's okay, three points, it's still really, really good. So yeah guys, so that's been the first game of the season. I'll see you in January when maybe there's some more changes to the squad. Hopefully we're up there with the big boys and try to get in the championship. Thanks for watching guys, much appreciated, I'll see you all there.